What's up, YouTube? It's Carl, Damage Hitter. I really feel like a YouTuber today. I got my face right in your screen. I, I feel like you can, you can smell my breath, but that's a whole other story. Listen, today at Damage Hitter, we're talking about how to stop dropping your back shoulder. Come on in and join me, but before you do, please hit the subscribe button. We're growing our subscribers quickly. We want you to get notifications when we upload. So when you hit the subscribe, hit the bell. You'll be notified every time we upload. We're loading two times a week right now. Maybe soon to go to three because we're having such a good time. We're getting so much questions and feedback. We're loving it. So come on in, hit the subscribe, hit the bell. Come on in. We're gonna talk about how to stop dropping your back shoulder. Appreciate you guys. Let's get it done. Hello, it's Carl here at Damage Hitter YouTube. Today we're talking about how to stop dropping your back shoulder. Thank you again for coming by. Do me a favor before I get into this whole video, hit the subscribe button. Like and comment on this video. Give me something to talk to you about. I have a lot of ideas, but I wanna talk to you guys about what you need to hear. So if you hit a comment, make a comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure that you get a notification every time we upload. Now that we're uploading two times a week, it will help me get you more quality content. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm loving it, I'm having a good time. It also feeds my ego as I see those numbers going up. It gets me excited to keep coming back here and talk to more and more people. We went from 160 at the first of the year to almost 430 today, and our goal is to get to 1,000. I think we can get there with your help well before the end of March, but I'm gonna need your help. So I'll be here every week, I need you to show up and give me some love. So let's talk about how to stop dropping your back shoulder. We do this how-to stuff with three things. One, we identify the problem. What is dropping your back shoulder? Two, we tell you why hitters drop their back shoulder. And then three, we tell you how to fix it. So at the end will be how do you fix dropping your back shoulder? Now you can fast forward to the end and get the fix, but let me tell you, you're gonna be a better coach a better parent, a better teammate, if you know all the things above, right? You're just gonna be better at communicating. This is exactly how I teach lessons. I train people based on the information they give me. I found out whether they learned it, why they're having their problems. I identify who it was that helped them create this problem, and then I help them figure out how we're gonna fix it and what they're gonna hear in the future about this problem that they can say, oh, they're talking about this problem even though they're not saying something correctly. And you're gonna learn today because they're not saying something correctly and we're still gonna identify it and fix it, okay? So let's talk about what is dropping your back shoulder, okay? And this is what I mean by they're not saying something correctly. Every hitter, every good hitter, because of the way your body works, when it turns into the ball with your hips, creates a tilt in your knees, creates a tilt in your hips, and it creates a tilt in your spine. Every hitter has this tilt. This tilt, which means my back shoulder is lower than my front shoulder, my back hip is lower than my front hip, my back knee is lower than my front knee, is the beginning of us having power. It's the beginning of us having accuracy. It's the beginning of us having great direction. This tilt is what gets us where we're supposed to be, okay? Without this tilt, we will not be able to hit, okay? Now, so obviously, your back shoulder has to be lower than your front shoulder when you swing. It's called tilt. Okay? Now, people will get into positions where that gets steeper than it needs to be, and they get into those positions for two reasons. It's one reason, really, but it's two things. And this is why people drop their back shoulder, why hitters drop their back shoulder. The reason is we teach them to. We teach them to by giving them two pieces of advice. The first is get loaded onto your backside and stay back. So we load up our weight to stay back for power. We're gonna have power from our backside. We're gonna swing from our backside. We're gonna drive from our backside. We're gonna turn from our backside. We're back here with all this power. And we've been told to load and we're ready to go. And the ball's on us real quick. It's ready, it's time. And we turn and everything dumps behind our back hip because it's firing forward. And we swing up drastically up from behind, below the ball, which is where we're supposed to be, but our whole body is below the ball, up to hit it because we're turning around and we're trying to get turned around, turned around to the ball, get around to it, all those things, right? That's one reason why we are in a bad hitting position that gets us in a position where we have to swing, turn, try to fight back up to the ball, okay? The other reason, so we're asked to load and stay back. 
The other reason, and that's our body, is because we push, we're asked to load our hands, push our hands away. We're not, and, and some people say walk away from your hands, but what a lot of our hitters do is they push them back. They get them away from their center where they're not very strong, and then it's time to swing, the ball's on us, and they turn to swing and their bat and hands and shoulders and elbows get completely down in, into a bad position again, bad hitting position, and then they turn to come around to hit, and their swing happens from below the ball on a line that's drastically uphill, steep uphill, not on the plane of the ball because they're in a bad hitting position. Both of these reasons are taught reasons. Hitters are taught how to get into a bad hitting position. So we have to fix their hitting position to get them in a position where they don't drop their back shoulder. Very simple to do. The thing you got to do is you got to understand what a good hitting position is. A good hitting position is when we do our load, and we're gonna come back to load. We do our load, we put our foot down, we land in a position where our weight is distributed evenly, our head's in the center, and our spine is straight up and down or slightly back. That's a good hitting position, all right? A good load is not us loading with all of our weight up over our foot where our toes come up or our body weight's balanced on our foot and we're in this position. Our weight is gonna always go into our foot from our center into our foot. So that's a good load. What I tell guys is, hey, if you want to be really efficient with your load, sit, do a glute push, push your back pocket this way. Feel your hip turn this way and your hips will turn in like this. All your weight will be going here and you can relax into this position instead of floating into this position. You can relax into this position instead of floating into this position. So that's a good load. Understanding that if I land in my hitting position and I go to swing, I turn my back hip and I start to drive and my backside, shoulder, hip, knee creates power for my bat and hands to follow, fall into behind and create the strong line of contact right here where we're going to turn into the ball. All right? So I want to make sure you get this perfectly clear and understand it the way I understand it. When we're using our body properly, we're in a good hitting position and we're driving from our backside, I think of it like my... my uh, Old school friends who love muscle cars. I'm one of them. Think about 1969, 67, Camaros. That's what everybody talks about. I always talk about the 1972 Nova my dad had. It was gold. Big fat tires in the back, thinner ones on the front. And when he hit the gas, that back end would sit down and that front end would come up and the wheels would spin and it'd fire off, take off, <laughs> right? That's what we are. We're a rear wheel drive muscle car. When we land and we turn that back hip, bang, that hip is the tire driving into the ground and turning, rotating over and pushing back and driving into the ground and rotating over. And when that thing pushes, our front end goes up. Whoop. That's our tilt. Whoop. Tilt, 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 tilt. Whoop, tilts up. And then we're in position to swing forward. That's our fix. Good hitting position, hit the gas and continue through it. Guys, that's how to stop dropping your back shoulder. When in doubt, hit it out. Wooka! But before you go, do me a favor. Check out this video. It's really good. I love what's going on here. And then also make sure you hit the smiling face over here. Subscribe, comment, please. Ask questions, please. Give me a like. I'm having a great time putting out content. I'll see you next week. When in doubt, again, I got to say it twice. Hit it out.